the, in, in the very beginning, it was use use the website, use Launchpad as a way to establish credibility in your field, and um, you know, create good content. Focus on your industry because our because our communities are based on industries primarily. If you're in real estate, talk about the real estate market and, and what's, what are some of the trends you're seeing. If you're selling mortgages or if you're in technology and you're in software development, you know, talk about trends that you're seeing or ideas or new, uh, new companies that are popping up or a job opening. We really encourage people to share good content and, and, not, not, sell. and not to sell and don't be spamming. And, you know, we, we really focused on online um, netiquette uh, a lot. And then giving people encouragement on how to use the site to generate um, referrals and, and relationships. That was probably the first thing that we did. But we we kind of weren't smart enough to create some online videos, which in retrospect we should have done, uh, which we could have then directed people. And we're working on a series of them now. But we hosted offline discussions for people when they would join. So what happened to us early on is um, – people really started connecting face to face. So along with teaching people uh, online, how to build online credibility the right way, we encourage them to come together face to face to talk, you know, to really share with each other. And that's what we found was the secret sauce for us was the offline activity. We started doing big quarterly events where we were getting three or 400 people to show up every quarter. And they would invite new friends and we would sell sponsorships uh, for that. So we started generating revenue pretty quick on the offline events. Then I started hosting events for the technology community, for the real estate community, because my whole philosophy is you need to connect with people in your own industry to really plug into your your industry ecosystem, if, if you will. Um, and that was the big, that was the reason I was successful in technology sales was that kind of relationship building. So that was the other concept. We were trying to teach people to connect offline if you want a job in healthcare, you need to be connecting with people in healthcare. Um, and so those were the real, probably the first two concepts. But in hindsight, we we could have done a much better job if we would have created a series of videos. I think that helped direct people where to go and what to do quickly. And and you know, in hindsight, that's probably the biggest mistake we've made. And then also. Um Getting back to what Bill was talking about with doing offline, uh, having events and stuff where the people can can meet in person. Um, for us, you know, we're in a geographic region, so it's kind of easy for us to do that. We can do that across different um, interest groups or industries. But I think for if, if there is a site that is nationally based, um, you know, they a good idea might be to create different groups or communities that are, you know, tied to specific geographic regions like a north. Northwest, um, you know, Northeast, you know, whatever, and um, facilitate meetups for those for those groups. Um, that'd be beneficial. It's you know always, you know, having relationships or meeting people just online is great. But once when you meet those people in person, um, I mean, it just totally solidifies and strengthens that relationship, and you're much more likely to. Uh, to have conversations online uh, afterwards.